Good morning, everyone. My name is Nadia. And my name's Naeem. And this is the beginning of our 2020 Advent pageant entitled Do Not Be Afraid. Friends, it has been a long year and it is finally time to draw close to the mystery of Christmas. As you know, we focus on themes during Advent, which are hope, peace, joy, and love. Advent is about the journey to Bethlehem and to Christ. Let us proclaim hope with the prophets, have the peace of Mary, share in the shepherd's joy, and look with love upon Jesus, along with all the animals, the angels, the magi, and everyone in this weary world who sees the love of God in Christ. We will go with them on this journey that was not just back then, but is now. Did you know that the words do not be afraid are everywhere in the Bible? The angels, the prophets, the saints, the disciples, and Jesus, and Jesus himself tell us not to be afraid. That might be because it would be a strange and new if an angel of God showed up in front of you. And it might be because life can be hard. We all have different challenges like making new friends, stuff with school, living far away from family, getting sick or hurt, and maybe just having a hard time. It might also be because it can be hard to believe like Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds did. Sometimes though, maybe we maybe we are also being told do not be afraid to believe. It is by God's grace that we believe. Do not be afraid to believe that you are God's beloved. You have gifts and things to do in this world that are only yours to have and to do. You are loved higher than the sky and deeper than the ocean. That means you are very, very loved. Do not be afraid to believe that God is with you all the time. Everywhere. Do not be afraid to believe that God came on earth to show us the way. God show. God showed up in Jesus, Jesus's, and is with us as the Holy Spirit helping us to live and work for a world of peace, love, and justice. Do not be afraid to know that God's promises are for you. No matter what, God will never leave you or stop loving you. God is love. Finally, do not be afraid to follow Jesus. We will go together. That's what church is all about. Following Jesus might be hard, but it's the best possible way to live. So two quick notes uh, before we begin or proceed. Um, one, as Pastor Sarah mentioned, if you have a nativity scene at home, you are invited to hold up each figure to your camera as they are mentioned. If you can't hold it up, maybe just notice it especially or point to it. And also, uh, you probably already have this setting by default of the piece account, but if not, please change to speaker view in the top right corner of your Zoom screen uh, so that Zoom will pan to the reader when each scripture is read. Uh, we're gonna go back and forth between live readings and um, some reporting. So we will begin now uh, hearing Magdalene play Away in a Manger. And thank you to everyone who is participating and everyone at home for listening. This is Maggie, five years old. My name is Maggie. Play away in the picture. Hear the good news. 
Many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed down to us by those from the first eyewitnesses and servants of the word. With this in mind, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the certainty of the things you've been taught. There was a time that Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinus was the governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. So Joseph went to the Galilean town of Nazareth, up to Bethlehem and Judah, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiance, who was pregnant. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark streets shine the everlasting light. is born of Mary and gathered all above. All mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wonder and love. The morning star together proclaimed the holy Peace to man on earth. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Well, I want to show you my Lego little town of Bethlehem. I I made it out, out of Legos all by myself. It has the ball, the star of Bethlehem, the building, the two buildings, the two palm trees, and and a plant, and a bus, and the animals, and Jesus's crib, and the fences, and the pillows, and the roof with the star. And thanks for watching. Did you like my? A Lego creation of the little town of Bethlehem. Have a great Christmas, peace. Hi. Um. Okay. So I'm reading the chapter two. Uh. While they were there, they came, the first the time they came for her for Mary to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room for in the hostel. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Hear the good news. A reading from Luke chapter 2. That night, some shepherds were in the fields nearby watching their sheep. An angel of the Lord stood before them. The glory of the Lord was shining around them, and suddenly they became very frightened. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid, because I am bringing you some good news. It will be a joy to all the people. Today your Savior was born in David's town. He is Christ the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and the light and lying in a feeding box. Then a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel. All the angels were praising God, saying, Give me glory to God in, in, in heaven and on earth. Let there be a peace to the people who please God. <laughs> Hear the good news. Then the angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened. We will see this thing the Lord has told us about. So the shepherds went quickly and found Mary and Joseph. And the shepherds saw the baby lying in the feeding box. Then they told what the angels had said about this child. Everyone was amazed when they heard that the, what the shepherds had said to them. Mary hid these things in her heart. She continued to think about them. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God and thanking him for everything that they had seen and heard. It was just as the angels had told them. Thank you.
Do not, not be afraid. afraid. Do, Do not, not be afraid. afraid. Do not be 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 afraid.